Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about gray fox the gray fox is a small shy member of the canine family that likes to hide in shrubs and trees This species may not be as well known as its red colored cousin but it's one of the most common species of foxes in North America These animals are not usually seen by people because of their nocturnal behavior and furtive nature but they have many amazing adaptations to cope with their environment Habitat loss in some areas may be forcing them into closer proximity with people. Incredible gray fox facts. The gray fox is believed to be the most primitive of the canines, such as foxes, dogs, and wolves. Primitive, in this case, simply means that it evolved earlier than other members of the canine family. One of the more unique adaptations is the strong semi-retractable claws and rotating wrist that allow it to climb trees with some skill. Dens have even been found in the lower canopies of trees. The gray fox will bury any leftover food in a hole for storage and then dig it up later. These animals will actually mark the spot with their urine so they can find the location again. There are some 16 recognized subspecies of the gray fox, including specific variants in New England, the eastern United States, the Plains states, Panama, South America, etc. The gray fox can reach speeds of up to 28 miles per hour while running. Gray fox scientific name. The scientific name of the gray fox is Eurocyon cinereo argentius. The genus name Eurocyon, pronounced Eurocyon, is the combination of two Greek words that roughly translate into tailed dog. The scientific name of cinereo argentius, pronounced roughly cinereo argentius, is a combination of two Latin words. Cinereus, meaning, ash-colored, and Argentius, meaning, silvery. The closest living relative of this species is the island fox, which lives among the Channel Islands off the Californian coast. The red fox, fennec fox, and all other types of foxes belong to an entirely separate genus known as Volpes. Together, they form the family of Canidae with wolves, dogs, and coyotes. Gray fox appearance. The gray fox has many familiar fox-like characteristics such as a long body, a very bushy tail, and large, erect ears. But compared with the well-known red fox, the gray fox can be distinguished by the relatively short legs, a more cat-like snout, partially retractable claws, and wider ridges on the skull. The most distinguishing feature of this species, as the name suggests, is the coat of silvery gray fur. This is mixed in with red around the chest and side white on the face and legs, and a black stripe down the tail. Weighing between 7 and 14 pounds, the gray fox is about the same size as a small domesticated dog like the beagle or the bulldog. The body typically measures about 2 feet long, while the tail adds another 10 inches or so. Male foxes are slightly larger than females, but otherwise, they are physically the same except for the obvious sexual differences. Gray fox predators and threats. A seasoned survivor. The gray fox only has a few natural predators and threats in the wild. It has historically been hunted by humans both for sport and for the quality of its pelt, but because the coat is short and coarse, it's generally less desirable than the softer fur of the red fox. Another potential threat is that the loss of habitat in some areas may reduce the amount of tree or brush cover that provides the fox with protection. Fortunately, forest cover in the United States is generally stable or even increasing but local deforestation may disrupt the habit of some gray fox subspecies. Gray fox population. The gray fox is currently classified as a species of least concern by the IUCN Red List. Population estimates are not available, but the facts suggest that the current numbers are stable. No particular conversation efforts are currently needed for this species.